One go. All right, welcome to Beverage. So uh, my buddy Tona and I finally managed to get here. We tried three times in the past year. And the first time the road's completely blown out, Sailing Valley Road. Second time our buddy's suspension blew out, so we turned around. Third time his suspension blew out again, so we went on our own. <laughs> <clears throat> so we, we, uh, we think we did our, our homework for this trip. Um, we printed it, we read and printed out. Um, all of the trip reports on the internet. Um, we packed probably about, well, it works out about two gallons of water per person just for one day. Uh, and I have to say, I don't think that the trip reports adequately did justice to how difficult this hike is. Um, from, from the map, it's probably about three miles, two, three miles as the crow flies. Uh, and the trail doesn't really give a sense of how many switchbacks are on it. When we got here, uh, Tona's GPS actually said that we had gone eight miles. I figure about one mile that was spent on route finding. Um, but a couple key things, one, it's imperative you never miss the trail because you just, it's impossible to, to, to find it if you lose it. Um, and two, I think the hike is actually a lot more like the profile of a high altitude mountaineering trip. Uh, you need an alpine start, you need every, every hour of daylight. Uh, you need to definitely get a lot of sugar. So I think if I was to do this again, I would pack one pack of goo per hour. Uh, and then uh, definitely be drinking water. The one thing we can say for sure is there is water here. <laughs> Towards the end, we were starting to worry. Uh, I think we got down to about one liter each by the time we got here. Uh, and we were starting to question what the worst case scenario, what would end up because it's pretty exhausting and I uh, use a lot of water. But anyway, uh, let me see that. I'm gonna just kind of do a view of this area. So we got down here. This looks to be the mill. Um, I believe and then here's kind of an old camp Got a bunch of odds and ends there Just off in the distance. There's an outhouse Got the Sun rising. It's probably about 545 in the morning right now get another early start before sunrise And then Actually you can barely see it, but there is a cable right there I don't know if you can make it out on this video. Anyway, that is pretty much beverage. I think there's an, uh, several other prospects. Uh, we don't really have time to check them out. Oh, here's another derelict uh, shed or something. But down there is pretty much where all the water runs through. There's a couple springs. Uh, and it was uh, felt like salvation when we found it. So anyway, uh, that's me. Say hi, Tona. Hey. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care.